Hello. Sometimes when you rotate a picture and you want to fill in the corners, um, it doesn't do it very well if you use the automatic in painting. This is a, a, a little bit of confusion because it actually can do it really well. Let's have a look at this problem. Let's take this picture here. We'd like to say straighten this corner here. So typically what we'll do is go to the crop tool. You can grab the corner and rotate it, but an easier method is to click on the straighten, which gives us a spirit level. And all we do is we drag along that line. And then when we let go of the mouse, it automatically rotates. Now the question is, if we apply that, we've now got these holes in the corner here. The gray checkerboard behind there indicates that there's nothing behind it with steering into empty space. Um, so we'll let's we'll see what happens if we select and a way to do this rather than to try painting in this is you see if you select alpha range which means transparency and partially transparent that will automatically select all those corners. This looks good. So if I go then edit and in paint it should fill in those corners for me. So let's see how that does out. It thinks for a while it's quite a clever operation so you need quite a bit of processing to figure out what it wants to fit into where. So whilst we make a cup of tea and discuss you know, war and peace it still thinks. And I've got a reasonably quick machine so this is a lot of thinking. It's a little bit confused I think. And what's happened? It doesn't seem to have done very much. There's like there's a bit there. Look there's a bit down here. Let's sort of zoom in and have a look at that. This is all it's done. This seems pretty bad particularly after all that thinking that it did. What we can do is go back and, and start from the beginning and maybe do the rotation first. There we go. Let's go back to this point here and take a one extra step which will fix this problem. The thing is what we've got here is kind of like two layers here. We've got the top layer here is our picture then and beneath it there's sort of a virtual layer that Affinity knows about but it's not shown in our layers palette. So what we need to do is kind of squash it down so that bottom layer exists as well. And so we click on layer and go down to rasterize and that does that squashing and flattening. Not a lot seems to have happened here but now it does know about this as a complete layer. So if we go back and do the same thing again select alpha range in other words look at transparency select the partially transparent. The reason we take partially transparent rather than fully transparent because along the edges here when you rotate there could be a rounding error and some of these pixels here might not be fully transparent. We're going to select those as well. Now let's just do the edit and in paint and see how long it takes this time. It's going to think about it again. It's quite a clever process for doing this but it's quicker this time and it looks like it's done it. Let's take that selection off, select, deselect and look there we go. It's filled in really intelligently all done very very well. And there's the, that trick. It is before you do anything you go to layer and rasterize. There we go. So a simple problem that happens solved. Thank you very much for watching.